Hi. So first of all, I mean, you're obviously coming into a bit of enemy territory, fighting near AJ's hometown. Just what are your thoughts on taking on him, specifically in Los Angeles? I like that because everyone thinks about this, and I can see this. Uh, all the pressure is on his shoulder. You two have gone back and forth for a while. He's obviously been one of the guys coming up. He talks about how you've been the champion since he's been in Bellator, essentially. Is there animosity? Is there genuine just dislike between you and AJ? Or do you feel this is just competition, just another opponent? That's a normal competition, but I know how dangerous he is. I'm mean, right for that. When you break down AJ, what do you think is the things he does the best, and what are the things you think he is not as good at? Uh, he's complete. He can knock people out and finish, too. But he's very nervous when he's fighting. Can you give us an example of one of the moments you've seen where he's nervous? All fights. Secondly, obviously, this is the finals of the tournament. There's a million dollars on the line, which is very different from the other fights. Can you talk about how important it is to get this victory compared to the other ones in your career? I don't care about the million. I care about my legacy and my, my destiny. That's it. The big question, if you defeat AJ McKee, there's a lot of what could be next. What else does Patricio have to prove in Bellator? Can you just talk a little bit about the future? Nothing. I am at the best. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you, my friend. Patricia, you know a lot of people talk about legacy. What would it mean to you in your legacy to walk into this tournament as champion and walk out as champion again? Prove the same thing again and again and again. Thank you. Pitbull, big fight, brother. One advantage you have is your experience. How is your experience going to help you in this super fight? It's about uh, mind, you know. I am, I am okay with with this with the J. I, I know how dangerous he is, like I said before. And I mean, I believe he's not comfortable right now. All his family here, friends, you know, it's a lot of pressure. I know that. This is the biggest fight, obviously, of AJ McKee's career. He's young, and the first big fight he had, you remember you fought Michael Chandler that night, it was against Pat Curran, and we saw a different type of AJ McKee. He was very patient. Do you expect him to attack you very much, or do you expect a patient AJ McKee? Mm, I'm prepared for both versions of, of him, and I'm confident on that. He says he's going to be patient as he approaches this fight. He has almost, I believe, a foot of reach on you, much taller. How do you deal with a patient, long rangey AJ McKee? He's gonna be beaten by me. I don't care the distance, the, the patient, nothing. I'm ready for everything. Do you expect to finish this fight? And if so, are you finishing it by submission or knockout? Submission. A lot of people betting on this fight, Pitbull. What, what round does submission come? Second round. Thank you. He has a long neck. Does <laughs> this mean a guillotine choke? Yes. Ah, I see. Anybody else? <laughs> what are your thoughts on Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley versus Jake Paul? I believe Jack Paul is going to knock him out. Can you break it down for us? Uh, Jack Paul is... Uh, now he's living as a boxer. And Tarahudo is a MMA fighter. You need to be right for that. I don't know. To be sure, Jake Paul has more experience in, in boxing in this moment. 
What do you attribute your dominant run as featherweight champion to? Uh, me? <laughs> Simple it. and clear, right? Yeah. All right. And then also, here's the thing, too, is that you've been on the other side. You've been in AJ McKee's shoes. You know, you've been the young, hungry challenger looking to dethrone the champion. And now that you're on the other side of that, uh, what's it like? Uh, I was like him before, like you said. And in that time, I need to be defeated. And now it's his time. He's going to be defeated. Thank you. Pitbull, this, he's a very long rangey guy. Did you have to bring anybody special in to train with? How did you adjust your training for such a dynamic opponent? All my years uh, fighting in Belado in my career, I have fought against guys like him. I'm always the smallest. It's normal. Nothing new. You told me you're going to guillotine him in the second round. Is he going to shoot a takedown on you? He's going to try to put the fight on the ground. I know that. You guys know that. He know that. You expect this early? Not too much. He's going to try to do something uh, standing. But he's gonna, he no, not going to find me there. I was talking to your coach, Captain Eric, and Captain Eric was telling me about your relationship with the Paul brothers. How did you first meet them? I see. And they're going to be here live at your fight, yes? Uh, what, what, what does this mean to you to have Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Paul brothers, uh, different names, lots of attention for this fight? What does it mean to you? It's nice to, to, to know that because I'm a big fan of them. He, they are like YouTubers, but now they are fighting and, and win fights, you know? That's spectacular. In other sports, generally they say it's a home field advantage. You're saying AJ McKee is going to be more nervous. Do you feel you have the advantage coming from Brazil, not having everybody here? He's already nervous, like you guys saw. He was like briefing deep, like be ready right now, take care. How will this help you in the fight? A nervous AJ McKee, how does this help you in the fight? He's gonna commit some mistakes. I'm gonna catch it. Thank you, Pitbull. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, my friend. Thank you, guys. <laughs>